Hello my friend, uh, today we are going to save the file in Node.js by using Cloudinary. So I'm going to let you see what we are going to do. So in here, in here, if I click this one, and then I'm going to click this MongoDB image and then and then upload it. Uh, we got this information back about the, the image we just uploaded. So if we go to the Cloudinary website and then refresh it, so if you see here, we got this the MongoDB image uploaded in here. So this is what we are going to do. So rather than just the, we save the file inside the node server, we save the image or a file or some video in the Cloudinary. To do this, we come back in here. Uh, actually, if you use the PHP or Java, it's okay to save the file uh, inside the their server. But if you just use the Node.js, it is actually better way to use third-party library for storing the files. These are the steps how we made that simple application. So uh, first we need to sign up or log in inside the Cloudinary. And then we need to do npm init to set up a new uh, npm package. And then we need to create a node server. And then we need to download the dependencies, name the formidable to parse an incoming file upload. And then we pretend to upload the image file without Cloudinary. And then we will make a configuration for Cloudinary. So when do this, the first we need to download this dependency too. And then to store the private information, like the Cloudinary API key or API secret key, we need to use the .env library. And lastly, we will just upload the image with Cloudinary as we did just before. So first I'm going to the Cloudinary website to sign up. So I can just type just a Cloudinary. You can see just the first thing to come up and you can just click it. Uh, if you never signed up in here before, so you can just click this one, sign up for free. So, so you can just uh, sign up in here with the simple process. It'll be very straightforward. So I'm going to skip this part and then I log in and I come inside in here. So if you see in here, there are cloud name and API key and API secret. Uh, we are going to use these three things later. So I hope you can keep that in mind. So the second thing we need to do is we need to do npm init to set up a new npm package. So to do that, first I'm going to turn on my text editor in here, and then I'm going to turn on my terminal, and I go to the directory so where I want to make this application. So and and in here I'm going to make the directory mkdir, and I will name this directory cloudinary upload. And then I'll go to that directory. I just uh, made it. So in here, I'm going to do npm init and y option together. So now we did this npm init. So we need to create a node server. So in here, first I'm going to open the folder which I just made. So first I need to make the index.js file for our entry point. So in here I'm going to create a, create a server uh, to make this video short. So I'm just going to bring the code I already made and then I put it in here. So I'm just going to e explain here's what's going on. First, we create the server by doing like this, HTTP create server. And then if we scroll down, we can see a list of 5,000. So this means this server is listening on the 5,000 port. We come in the package.json. So we will make one script that is start. Then we will do node.index.js. So by using these stars, we can turn on our entry point, which is index.js. So we are going to do it. So in here, npm run star. 
uh, first we need to just uh, delete it so we didn't have this permutable installed yet so that's why we have this error so I just uh, command it out so and then I'm going to do npm run start again npm run start so now we started our node server we go to localhost 5000 localhost 5000 so you see this one so, so if we see in here this template that there is a deep leper in here and then there is a form there are two inputs for the file upload and then what is for the submit button if you see in here form action is slash that upload so this means that if we just click this upload button so we will go to localhost 5000 slash upload so when we upload the file we come in here and if that method was the post so you see in here the method the post uh, we will in here take care of the image that we uploaded but if you see in here and then i'm coming in here i try to really upload it and I put that image in here. Uh, I will click this upload button, but we got the error in here. The reason is uh, when we upload image, uh, we need to parse a file upload, but there is no way to parse that file upload because the, we don't have anything yet. To do that, uh, we come in here. So we need to download the dependency for the parsing on incoming file upload. So we need to download this npm install formidable. So come back in here and then we return on the terminal and the npm install formidable and save. So now we download it and then we come up and we uncomment this formidable libraries and then we brought this one and we put that formidable in here and by using this formidable and we use it in here and I'm going to save it and I'm going to turn on our application again by typing npm start and we go back to our application so we come in here and then we go to our application in here then I try to do it again upload any image and then upload it so now we got this result back so that means that it was successful so, so there is the information the, about the image that we just uploaded the path was like this and the name was like this and the type was the image png so what we just did was that this step the pretend to upload the image file without cloudinary actually we try to uh, upload the file in here nothing was uploading so that's why I just said in here pretend to upload so now we are going to use the cloudinaries so to use this one we also need to download the cloudinary dependency so we will do the npm install cloudinary flip back over to our text editor again in here first I'm going to kill the server and then clear and npm install cloudinary and save I'll download it and then I'm going to do the configuration for Cloudinary. So uh, first I'm going to bring that Cloudinary, choir Cloudinary and I need to put the Cloudinary configuration in here. It will be as an object. So first the property we need to put is the cloud name and the next one is the API key and the last one is the api secret so these are the keys that we got uh in here you can click this reveal and then you can copy all, all of these three information and paste it in here but these are very sensitive information you don't want them to be exposed so to to secure this information i'm going to put this information inside the other file so we can secure it so to do that I'm going to download .env 
library so we come back in here npm install dot emv and save so now we download it so i'm going to bring that library again today we can just do like this dot emv and config and by using this one so we need to make the file named dot emv and inside in here we can just type cloud name and then api key and in here api secret pi secret so i come in here my cloud name was j1 so i'm going to put that in here and my api key was this one so i put that in there and then i put also my secret api number in here and then you can also put everything in here and we come back in index.js in here we can just type process emv and cloud just this name we copy this one and paste it in here it will be same as that so api key and api secret so now we did all of the configuration for this cloudinary now if you see in here we parse a file upload after that we want to just save the file inside the cloudinary so we need to do something in here we want to save save the file inside the cloud dinary so to do that, we just bring that cloudinary and we just uploader and upload. If you see in here, our first parameter is the file. So we can just give this file pass. And the second one is this option and the third one is the callback. So we need to put that file pass in here. So how can we get the file pass? First, just I'm going to come back in our application again and I will just uh, put anything and upload. So if you see in here, so this this information comes from the these files variable. So this uh, form parse. So after parsing the files, uh, we get this uh, file information. So inside the file information, and inside the upload and in here so we can see this pass for the files so we need to put this pass inside in this inside in here we, so we need to put this one in here and then we put this one in here files and upload and pass so pass and then we will get the callback lizard so we will see which kind of callback we will get by typing console.log so i kill the server first i'm going to turn the server again npm stars and i'll go to our application and in here i'm going to just upload it the one image again and i come in here so i got this a console back from the cloudinary so this is the this one this lizard so this lizard console so if we upload this the file inside the cloudinary cloudinary give us this callback information like this is public id and version and signature or width and height and format and this kind of the information yeah Actually, this is the ors we needed to do to save the file inside the Cloudinary. So if we go to Cloudinary uh, to see whether it is really saved inside in here or not. So we just saved the MongoDB image just before. So that's why we can see this the new tag. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have some question about this one, you can just uh, leave the comment below. So always thank you for watching this video. Thank you.